You tuned in tonight to Lady Flavor Show on Lady Flavor Radio Network. Tonight on the show, our very special guest is Mrs. Alice Larissa. Welcome to the Lady Flavor Show. How are you doing tonight, ma'am? I'm good. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. It is definitely our pleasure having you as a guest on tonight's show. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mrs. Larissa, you are from New York. Are you still in New York? Yes, I live in Brooklyn, very, originally from Queens. Very, very nice. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. And Mrs. Larissa, you've been playing the piano and singing since the age of seven. Wow, that is quite yes. an accomplishment. <laughs> well, that's mostly due to my mom, you know, starting me in piano, so I really had no choice. But <laughs> I, it grew on me, and it's just been like, you know, a natural thing ever since. Very, very nice. And I see that you did move on to Howard University where you received your Bachelor's of Music in Piano. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was fun. You're welcome. And you also <laughs> received a Master's in Music and Jazz. Wow. <laughs> I yeah. have to congratulate you. <laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to switch it up and you know, get a little difference because, you know, bachelor's was in classical training only, and I really wanted to explore, and I really like singing, so that's, I just decided to switch my major for my nice. master's. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful, man. Glad that's over with. I can imagine. <laughs> I remember those days, and oh boy, especially in yeah. the winter time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hard time to graduate. Oh, yes, but you did it, and that's the most important thing. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And you released your first EP entitled Again. What inspired that? Actually, I just think love. Um, I wrote this EP when I was in California working, teaching a Broadway class to young young kids. Actually, it was a mixture of elementary, middle school, and high school students. So while I was there, you know, I just hooked up with some producers and, you know, they gave me the music and I just really took it and just started writing. Um, and that was at the time when me and my boyfriend were getting back together. Oh, wow. <laughs> so hence the title again, you know, that he really inspired that. He doesn't really know that yet. But <laughs> one day I will definitely share that with him. But that's basically what inspired that title and the song that I have on there called Again. Mostly about love. All the songs on there are are related to love and hanging out, you know, vibing. Very, very nice. Great. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you also have another song. Well, again, it's actually a song to our audience. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. And you also have another song entitled Caught. (laughs) Tell us about Caught. (laughs) Well, you know, my brother, when he listened to that song, he's like, do I need to beat up anybody? You oh. know, when he, when he heard that. But no, <laughs> that was just a fun song. You know, I feel like I've definitely been in a situation where, you know, I have been cheated on. Um, and not that I necessarily caught anyone in the room per se, but that idea, you know, knowing that your significant other has done that, you know, you have all types of imagination to how that could have gone down. So that's basically what inspired inspired that song. Very, very nice. And also <laughs> hip hop zamba? Hip hop samba. Samba, that sounds very unique. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it has like a little funky beat to it. But, uh-huh. you know, it is like in, the lyrics are samba inspired because like Girl from Ipanema and Corcovado that stuff that and Antonio Carlos Jobim, who's a famous bossa nova writer, um, composed those songs. So my lyrics are inspired from him, um, but the beat is definitely more modern hip hop ish. So that's how that title came about, and I wrote that while I was in Santa Barbara on the beat. So <clears throat> feeling, you know, the waves and the sun. That's that's just like an awesome way to to compose some stuff. Very, very nice, very, very nice. Thank you so much for sharing. And together, no problem. What... <laughs> together, yeah, that's just another, you know, love song. Um, I definitely love 
my boyfriend again, another song inspired by him. <laughs> uh-huh. um, and I recorded that before we had our little, you know, separation. So, yeah. you know, that's just basically about two people just being together and and just wanted to take it further. Very, very nice. And yeah. also round and round. Tell us about round and round. <laughs> Round and Round is a song, you know, a feel-good song for when you're mostly intimate, you know, with your significant other, and, you know, you guys are really getting into the motion and, you know, doing whatever it is you guys do. <laughs> it's Round and Round. You got to spin it Round and Round. <laughs> uh, but just a, a playful, playful, not a playful love song, but more and more intimate. Very nice. You can think of Red Light Special, TLC. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and are you also a poet? I'm not a poet, not per se. I, I wouldn't call myself that, but I do consider myself, you know, a writer um, in terms of lyrics um, mm-hmm. for for music. But I don't like to basically write poems. Very, very nice. That's Miss nice. Miss Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the writer author. Oh yes, that is and cool. also Amen, who I'm sure you'll be talking to. Mr. Class, also another great author. Very, very nice. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing mm-hmm. everyone's work. <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. Most definitely. Mrs. Alice Larissa, what inspired you to continue on with your journey each day? I, you know, it's just been a path ever since, like, I was seven and, you know, going to high school for music and arts and performing arts and then college and just continuing on in music. You know, that's just always been my dream. And, you know, as soon as I graduated, I, I mostly did teaching, you know, for piano lessons and stuff like that. And in 2011, I opened up my own music school. So nice. not only am I, you know, doing my performing, I'm also, you know, teaching students. I have a studio in D.C., and I have students here in New York. Um, you know, and they do piano lessons, voice lessons in New York. We also do theater classes. So, you know, it's music all around, which has been my whole my whole life. Very, very nice. And I see that you have traveled, you know, around the world to do your performances. Wow, that must have been quite an experience. Yeah, um, mostly, like, in, you know, in California, I was mostly writing and recording when I went to Africa, I did performances with the kids that I was teaching at the time. It was a charter school in D.C., um, so we did some some songs out there, and I really can't remember the other places <laughs> oh, wow. that I've been to. But it's all you know, it's, it's it's been a great great journey. That's a beautiful thing, and I see that you were influenced by some very well established artists, Ella Fitzgerald. Louis Armstrong, to name a few, Marvin Gaye, Mary J. Blige. Wow, I, those are all very great artists. And, you know, I had the opportunity to listen to your music, and I have to commend you. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. We are, you know, working on um, my first video this weekend for, for Again, for the song Again. So I'm excited about that and all the MID family. You know, they all they all support me. We all support each other. Oh, Give man. a shout out to MIB in England because we have people from the UK who, who's listening and will be tuning in. Amen, Princess Francis, um, all the MI, other MIB members, Princess Taylor, Dolly J, Tracy, Miss Hazy, Lady D, Miss Tanya, Ray, Lizzy. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> yeah. That's definitely a lot of love and support. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All my family and my friends, because I have other musicians who, who sing with me, Justin, Lonzel, Young West, the CUNG, Umbrella Network group, and they also, you know, perform in these showcases as well. Awesome. That is absolutely beautiful. And, ma'am, do you have some website information you'd like to share with our listeners where they can learn more about you as an artist? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Alice Larissa, and I'm on Facebook, of course. Um, I have a page. My music is on iTunes. You can just type in Alice Larissa, L-A-U-R-I-S-S-A. I'm on Instagram as Alice Larissa, Twitter, Alice Larissa, for piano lessons or voice lessons. You can, you know, also send me messages on Facebook. But my Facebook page for that is Larissa Jane Music. Same way you spell Larissa, Larissa Jane Music Studios. 
and we are enrolling students now for our new, you know, winter semester. So, you know, please hit, hit us up, um, hit up our music, hit up our page, our MIB production page, UNG page. Um, we all working together. Amen. Oh, and to all our listeners who do need the correct spelling, is Mrs. A L I C E L A U R I S S A. Yes. <laughs> I want to thank you so much again, Mrs. Larissa, for being our special guest on tonight's Lady Flavor Show. And we will be playing your hot new music on the show to feature you as our special guest on tonight's show. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. And I want to thank you so much once again. And I want to encourage you to continue to pursue your dreams, continue to reach for the stars, and keep God first in all that you do. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma'am. And ma'am, before um, you leave us tonight, what is one thing you'd like to leave the listeners with? Um, just to stay positive, stay encouraged in all it is that you want to do in life, and I feel like your dreams will come true. Oh, man. Oh, man. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much once again for being our special guest on tonight's Lady Flavor Show with your host, Tina Williams, a.k.a. Lady Flavor. That is www.ladyflavor.com. Thank you so much once again. Have a wonderful night. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless. Bye-bye.